Hey guys, it's Sean at eMini School. It's May 28th. It's Friday. Uh, in the last couple of emails for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the best trade to take would be the second session outlook. Um, let me pull in another chart here. We were talking about on the 60 minute chart, this last major high and this spike low. Okay, anything in between, it's a little bit high risk in the morning. So we have a trade set up for the afternoon portion of the day after lunch to the close. We call it the second session trade. So it was pretty wild a little bit here, not too crazy. It was a pretty big gap here, gap here, gap here. We break, we gap down, break this low. We gap up here, gap up here. So overall it has been a little bit emotional some of these days were very boring to trade um, a lot of times the gap takes away some of the best opportunities so uh, looking at today looking at the three minute chart we had blue bars okay indicators low big move starting okay so this is still pretty early on in the day so we have a move down and a move up right into lunchtime Okay, so 9 o'clock my time to 11 o'clock is basically lunch in New York. So we call this the morning session, and then there's the second session. Okay, so basically we want to take the, the two moves of the morning to give us probabilities of the next move coming for the, the same day. Okay, sometimes these trades do go over into the next day if the target is not hit. Um based off of what we had for our target we had a target at 1083.75 down here okay this low came so close to that um, that you know it would be hard to hold through all of this just to get a little bit more to the target here so um, there was a second entry here in the zone but this from even if you got filled at the bottom of this three minute red bar Okay, this is our sell signal, which is the second set of red. So if this is the first set, okay, market pulls up, it's green. There's the second set of reds. Okay, the bar will turn red intra bar um, as the bar is being printed. But let's, for this example, let's say we got filled at the bottom of the bar after it closed and it took out the low of that bar. That was 1095.50 and it falls down to 1084. Uh, let's see. 1084.50. Okay, so that was a 10 point move off of one three minute sell signal. Okay, stop above prior green highs right here. Okay, not above here. That's too much risk. Okay, so we want to see a correction pattern complete in our zone to go short, and then we wait for a red bar to confirm the pattern. Okay, so we're not trying to predict the pattern we're, we're waiting for it to confirm okay the key in it turning red and waiting for it to turn red is a lot of these bars are in the sell zone and a lot of times traders want to get in too early and so they have a mentality that they're going to miss the trade okay so we really want to slow the market down with our indicators and only go short once it goes back to red. Um, it's very key because in this zone, like I said, there's many bars hitting the sell zone. But if you get in too soon, let's say you get in on this bar and it comes up, you get stopped. Okay, and then ultimately it goes down and then you're thinking, I knew that was going to happen. I should have just held. All the negative thoughts overwhelm you and then you ultimately miss the trade. Okay, so we want to slow it down, wait for the color chain change in the sell zone. Okay, so blue bars started this move down, blue bars ended the move. Okay, so from so once we hit the blue bar, we're going to trail the stop to the high of the blue bar. In this case, we were taken out right here. Okay, as this bar takes out this high. Okay, which that that is the low bar. Does that happen every time? No but it's a zone we don't want to stay short if we have blue bars with the high reading. Um, so from this low, 1084, 
the market rallies up to 1099, okay, we get blue bars indicators high. That's saying that this move is most likely over. And from there, we drop back down another 10 points. Okay, so today was pretty wild with a lot of movement. Um, and so basically, we had the second session trade was a very good outlook to be trading. Um, and that's been the case for the last couple days, um, if not longer. So th this, it slows it down a little bit for you and you're waiting for the trade instead of predicting and getting in too early. It's very key to slow it down and wait for the signal and not get in in hopes it turns red. Um, and if you don't have the indicator, you know, just give it a little bit more room, especially with the ES. Okay, if you're trading the Russell, you know, it's it moves a little bit quicker. So let's look at the, the Russell. Same type of thing. Okay, we did not have blue bars starting the move on the three minute, but we basically had the same setup here. Okay, sell here, comes down blue bar low. In this case, we would have been stopped right here. Okay, because this bar took out that high. Okay, so blue bar high. So if you did take it long, you would be stopped here. Okay, you want to trail it. So it's just a good visual the bars are green, do not go short. The bars are red, do not go long. It'll keep you in the right direction. So anyways, I just want to show that second session trade, show you guys what it looks like, um, and also the blue bars for today. Have a good weekend.